showdown in Maverick. The sound of hooves echoed through the dry and dusty gulch. Perched high on a cliff, a scraggy vulture raised its ugly head and stared at two horses trotting along the trail below. The young riders wore jeans and check shirts. The vulture swooped down towards them and then soared off into the air looking for easier prey. Maverick soon. I don't fancy being our favorite friend's next meal. Not much further. That last sign said Maverick Town five miles. Let's try going faster. Okay, but just remember what the ranch hand said. Golden Star here doesn't like going fast. He's likely to turn into a bit of a bucking bronco. A quick canter won't do any harm, will it? Come on, Sandra, giddy up. <sighs> Come on then, Golden Star. Better get moving. <sighs> Maybe I should have stuck to going slowly. He doesn't seem to like this at all. Oh! Jamie, are you all right? Whoa! No, of course I'm not. I landed straight in a cactus patch. I've got all these needles stuck in me. Ah! Ooh. I'm coming to help you. Oh, you can get these needles out of me. Otherwise, I won't be able to sit in the saddle ever again. Or anywhere else, for that matter. Don't worry, I'll pull them out. You sound like the dentist. Ouch! I can feel it. A lot! Oh. Ow! Keep still. Ow. How do you expect me to get them out when you keep wriggling? Well, it hurts. Maybe we should leave the horses the rest of the way. That's the most sensible thing you've said all day. It'll only take an hour or two. What do you reckon our chances are of getting something to eat? That saloon might be good for a drink at least. I'm parched. You mean that place over there? Dry Gulch Saloon. Doesn't sound promising, does it? We can give it a try. Let's tie the horses to the rail then and give it a go. OK. Friendly place. Everyone's staring at us. Don't take any notice of them. Come on, let's get that drink. Howdy, partners. My name's Roy, and this is my saloon. What'll it be? Give them a whiskey each. thing. You can have Seven Star, or a Wild Vulture, or Desert Juice. Uh, do you have any lemonade? Well, not much call for that round these parts. Uh, how about Dancing Tumbleweed, or Demon Brew, or Cactus Patch? Uh, thanks, but no. How about Coke? Well, oh, sure. I got plenty of Coke out in the coal bunker back there. One kind of coke. Can we settle for some milk? No problem. My cow's been working overtime. Sit yourselves down at the table and I'll bring it over. Good to sit down at last, eh, Jamie? I don't know about that. Ow! I'm sure you got rid of all those needles. Positive. Look, here comes Roy with our drinks. Took him long enough. Where's he been? Milking the cow? Here you are. Your milk. Thanks. A word in your ear. Folks here aren't too partial to kids in the saloon, so just keep your sales to your sales. Sure. And whatever you do, don't disturb the poker players at the next table. The stakes are rising faster than a gopher down a hole, if you get my meaning. They don't 
don't look very happy, those card players. Yeah. Except that big fat bloke. <laughs> yeah! In that huge yeah. hat. That's a sombrero. He must be Mexican. Yeah. Been reading your Peoples of the World yeah. book again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I win again, gringos. I just had to take all your cash. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. Oh, <laughs> quit John and deal. Yeah, okay, okay. About time. Yeah, yeah. Well, do me something. Yeah, right. Hey, look, Sarah, he's chasing. Every time he deals a card to himself, he takes it from the bottom of the pack. You're right. No wonder he keeps winning. Maybe we're going to have to disturb them after all. Excuse me. Quiet, kid. We're playing poker here, can't you see? I just thought you might want to know. The dealer's taking his cards from the bottom of the pack. Is that right? Let's have a look. Four aces! Huh? You low-down cheating varmint Sanchez! Prove it! You just prove it! Four more aces! They fell out of his sleeve! You cheat! You swindler! Get him, boys! Yeah! Let him get away! Yeah. Let I think get this away is going to turn nasty! No, no, no. They've all got guns! Oh, Batman's oh. pushing oh. the table! Oh. into the air. What's going on around here? This man was cheating at cards. Then a fight broke out. Thank you, ma'am. Well, well. If it ain't smiling Sanchez. Wanted for murder, bank robbery, cattle rustling, and now cheating at cards. I've got a special cell reserved just for you at my jail. Murdoch and the boys will bust me out soon enough. <laughs> and I can't see you stopping them. You're famous for miles around, Sheriff Calhoun. As a lily liver the coward. <laughs> Take this yeah, grin and fool yeah, to the jail and lock yeah, him up, Deputy yeah. Johnson. Sure thing, <laughs> Sheriff. You, you yeah, come you on now, Sheriff. Don't you give me any trouble, boy. I'll blow your head right off. The streets of Maverick ain't safe for young folk. Hmm. Why don't you two come back to my house? Martha, uh, my wife, will be pleased to have company. And you two can have a bite to eat and stay the night. Thanks. Right, I hope it's sausages and beans. <laughs> Don't see why not. <laughs> Johnson. He looks a right mess. Blood's pouring out of his nose. Now, well, what's been going on? You look like you got into an argument with the hind legs of a mule. Uh, a couple of mules. Two more Murdoch boys are in town. Huh? Dead Eye Davy and Sure Shot Pete. Oh. They found out we got Sanchez locked up, and they're meaner than a nest full of rattlers. Looks like they roughed you up good and proper. Sure did. They gave me a message for you, too. Big Frank Murdoch's due in town this afternoon, and they're gonna bust Sanchez out of jail. Oh. Well, we'll have to let him go. Ain't no one in Maverick can stand up to those boys. Well, I'm not going to let him ride roughshod over me. I'll talk to Davy and Pete, and I'll leave my gun here. If they see I'm not armed, they might calm down a bit. Uh, now, Martha was just making breakfast, Al. You sit down and have yourself a bite to eat. Well, thanks, Sheriff. You take care out there now, you hear? You just sit tight till I come back, you hear? Uh. Deputy Johnson? Hmm? What's been happening in Maverick? Oh, don't ask. It seems a bit of a crazy place. Well, Maverick used to be the safest town for miles around. Until the Murdoch gang showed up. They're all trigger happy and tough as rawhide. Oh, it's Big Frank, the leader that we're really scared of. He's got the deadliest aim in the whole state. Legend has it, he never misses. He's not a match for the sheriff, is he? Well, the sheriff's quick on the draw, but he ain't the greatest shot. He and Big Frank had a shootout at the bank a while back. 
the manager of the bank was hit and wounded. Uh, luckily, he lived, but the sheriff's afraid it might have been one of his bullets that hit him by accident. The sheriff's been scared to fire a gun ever since, and the people think he's chicken. They wouldn't listen. Sheriff, you're wounded. He yeah, shot me in the leg as I was walking out the door. Oh. Oh. Shooting someone in the back. Now that is chicken. I guess we might as well release Sanchez now. I can't defend the jail like this. Not so far, Sheriff. Oh, riding to Maverick has given me an idea. Uh, Jamie, you stay here with the Sheriff. I'm going out with Deputy Johnson to harvest some crocs. Ain't nothing out there but a lot of cactus. Exactly. See you later, guys. Oh, well, I haven't finished my breakfast yet. Uh, I'll go make sure she's all right. Uh, Martha, get out here. I need you. Oh, oh. Uh. Ah, what's the use? I haven't touched a gun in months. Well, people always say if you fall off your bicycle, you should get back on it straight away. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should start putting your feet back on the pedals again. <laughs> You're just a kid. What can you possibly teach me? We'll see, shall we? I'll put these six cans on top of the wall. this. Hey, where did you learn to shoot like that? You don't get to level seven of a lotion invaders without having a pretty good aim. Now it's your turn. Well, okay. I'm telling you, David, you should have seen the look on Calhoun's face when I winged him with that shot. <laughs> I saw it, don't Excuse you? Excuse me. Now, yeah, what have we here? Mm. Who's this, Pete? <laughs> no idea, Davy. But you better turn right around, little lady. This saloon's off limits until we say it's open again. Gentlemen, I'm here to make you an offer you can't refuse. Uh -huh. I represent the Easy Clean Boot Polish Company. We've developed a miracle polish which makes old boots look like new. <laughs> I'm offering to take your boots and clean them. And if you're not satisfied, I'll give you a brand new pair to keep. Well, my old boots have seen better days. Mine too. Come on, let's go for it. <laughs> I'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> Thirty minutes? It's been an hour. At least he's stolen our boots, the thieving varmint. Big Frank ain't gonna like this. What's he gonna say when he sees we've been duped? Yeah, best thing we can do now is rescue old smiling Sanchez. Then the three of us can go find that easy clean varmint and give her a taste of her own boot polish. Right. Come on, then. Let's get out of here. Go on, Davy. Open up that jail door. Give it your best shot. Okay, Pete. How about that? Hey, look. It's smiling all trussed up. What they done that for? Wearing a blindfold, too. Who cares? Cell door's been left open. I'm gonna rescue him. You coming? <laughs> sure thing, Davy. Uh, oh. ah, ooh, ah. How'd all these cacti get here all over the floor inside the jail? Okay, you jumping beans. Oh. Put your hands up. You're not putting us in there with smiling. That's exactly what I'm doing. Keep those hands up. Move. We're trying. Ain't easy with no boots and all them needles. Ah. That was the idea. Hey, Pete, hmm? it's that thieving young. Ah, we definitely been duped, Davy. 
and buy a kit. I hope you gentlemen realize now a life of crime doesn't pay. Inside, boom. <laughs> oh, I think they get the point. You've got to come outside. Big Frank has tied up his horse outside the saloon. It's time for the final showdown. How are you feeling, Sheriff? Oh, a bit nervous. But more confident since my shooting practice with Jamie. I'm going to wait outside. Uh, tell Big Frank I'm ready for him, will you? Sure thing. Big for nothing. He's miles bigger than the sheriff. Where are Dead Eye Davy and Sure Shot Pete? Those idiots were supposed to meet me here. Uh, they won't be joining you. And I think the sheriff would like a word with you. That fool? Well, I've got something to say to him. Or rather, my old Colt 45 has. Quick, Sarah, untie his horse while he's not looking. We don't want him to make a quick getaway. Good idea. Hey, chicken! I hear you wanted to see me! That's right! I want to tell you I've got your gang locked up in my jail. Now I'm going to challenge you to a duel. Winner takes control of the town. That suits me! <laughs> you must have lost your marbles. I'm the deadliest shot north of the Rio Grande. We'll take ten paces and draw. I can't watch. Don't worry, the sheriff's a pretty fast draw, and he's not such a bad shot either. <laughs> the sheriff's won! I knew he could do it. Oh, blast you to kingdom come, Calhoun! Where's my horse? Stop him! He mustn't escape! Don't worry, I swapped his horse for Golden Star, the bucking bronco. Not the best horse to make it get away. <laughs> Frank will be going anywhere in a hurry. All we have to do now is lock him up. You know, I could always use two more deputies. Thanks, Sheriff. But we have to get our horses back to the barge from Harvey. Won't you join us for a hoedown tonight? It's to thank the Sheriff for saving Maverick Town. Oh, okay. But then we'll have to leave straight away. Don't you mean we should be off like a shot? Hmm? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The music in Showdown in Maverick is taken from Aaron Copeland's Rodeo, four dance episodes. In Buckaroo Holiday, the opening music sounds like the start of a Wild West film. The tune, If He'd Be a Buckaroo, is played by the trombone. Near the end of the piece, the melody is played by the full orchestra. Many of the instruments at the beginning of Choral Nocturne are muted to make the music sound soft and far away. Solo brass and woodwind 
play fragments of tune. The opening of Saturday Night Waltz sounds like a fiddler tuning up. The oboe plays a slow, reflective waltz. Chirruping bird-like calls on the flute and violins suggest that dawn is not too far away. In hoedown, piano and woodblock begin a rhythmic accompaniment. vigorous dance tune is played by the strings. Towards the end of the piece, the music grows slower, in imitation of an old wind-up gramophone running down. These are just some of the highlights from Aaron Copeland's Rodeo, four dance episodes. You are bound to discover more every time you listen.